The answer to the question, who are you, is stored in code. Not on a computer, but inside your body. Maybe you already know, your body is made up of cells, about 10 trillion of them. Nearly every cell in your body has inside it a molecule that's like a stretch of ticker tape. That molecule is called DNA, and that ticker tape has code on it. The code in your DNA is composed of little molecules called nucleotides. The important thing to know about nucleotides is that there are four kinds, and we geneticists have given them each a letter, A, C, G, and T. So imagine a ticker tape with a bunch of A's, C's, G's, and T's written on it billions of times. That ticker tape of DNA from just one tiny cell in your body can stretch almost six feet long. And that's for each of the 10 trillion cells in your body. The order of those A's, C's, G's, and T's in your DNA helps to make you who you are. That's because your DNA is like a really long book. Think about it. Any book is really just a string of letters in a certain order. That order determines whether the book is a mystery or a thriller, war and peace or the Bible. Just rearrange the letters and you've got a totally different story. It's the same with your DNA. The order of those A's, C's, G's, and T's helps to determine almost everything about you. From your skin color, your eye color, whether you're tall or short, left-handed or right. But those A's, C's, G's, and T's also tell your family history, who your parents are and their parents, and so on, all the way back to the very first human beings, the human journey. So DNA is really just a bunch of letters arranged in a certain order that tells the story of you. That's why we're trying to decode the DNA stories of as many people as possible in the Genographic Project. The more DNA we study, the more we know about where we all came from and about the human journey.